we were in Nashville, we have a couple projects in Nashville, and we saw a project that Guido had been working on there. And we said, we knew right then and there that that's what needed to go on this building. And so from that point forward, we started working with him and we got to where we are today. I like to go to a place and explore its culture, you know, through photography and a um, bit of like, I, I guess you could say storytelling and finding out interesting aspects of a community. And then going from there, adapting it into a mural. So that's what I've done here. This idea of the mural, and indeed the thoughts behind as it began to gel in terms of the message for this particular space, didn't just happen in the last couple months with all the events swirling around this country. This was actually a discussion going back a year. But what we're doing here today is something that needs to be done. We're, we're, he we're hearing voices and stories that perhaps were not told in the past, but they're real stories, it's real history. And it's brought out through the work, through the, through the life of Ms. Harris and the, the students she touched and the lives she transformed. And it carries on today. And so to have this commemoration right here, and again, this it wasn't an idea that just started last month. <laughs> this has been in the works for some time, but a great, a great message of unity. I want you to know I am humbled by this, and I can't I can't begin to tell you how impressed I am with the work that has been done. But education is so important in Greenville, and I am so proud that I've been a part of it. So this is an inspiration to me. I hope it will be an inspiration for our community, for the people that live here, and I hope that they will take something away from this every day as they pass by. A key quote from Leola Robinson, but what your mural will do, it'll do what a lesson won't do. So for kids that pass by here every day, they'll be able to take a look at that mural and identify with it on some level. So, and she continues, when you see art, people gather different things from what they see. And I think that's the effect this, this piece, piece might have. Uh, people passing in cars will look at this. Someone might see one thing. Next time they pass, they might see something else. Uh, they might see a woman, it might be pain, or it might be curiosity, but they'll see something else and that's what makes art so great. So, on that note, I want people to derive their own meanings from this work. Guido's work will help remind us every day the power of one person, a person like Curly Harris, has to transform the future by empowering, empowering our children today. It's neater than uh, I would have imagined. It's, it's spectacular. And walking through units across the street and these potential residents will have beautiful views of this. Watching people driving down Buncombe Street, kind of craning their neck, it's, it's really special.